I actually never read this book before. My dad actually gave it to me in like high school. Maybe he knew something that I didn't. What's going on everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Jossie. I always have to reintroduce myself because most of my views come from people who aren't subscribed, which basically means either you already watched my videos before and you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, or you are brand new to this channel, which is super dope as well. Either way, could you just take like two seconds, it's not even two seconds, and just hit that subscribe button. There's a watermark right here somewhere in this vicinity. I'm also assuming if you're watching this video or just on my channel, it's probably because you're interested in either software development, software engineering, or just the tech industry in general, which is perfect because this video is dedicated to my first three months as a software engineer. I just wanted to let you all know what my experience is as a entry level developer for my first quarter. By the end of this video, you will have a better understanding as to what a typical entry level software engineer does for their first three months. I'm super excited because I'm going to be giving away this book, Dean's List, 11 Habits of Highly Successful College Students. When I was struggling during school, I would go into this book and just kind of take a deep dive for a little bit just to learn about some of the habits other successful students did. And I just want to give this back. So if you are a college student, comment below Dean's List. I'm going to do a random selection. And once I've selected someone, I will let you all know and then I could just reach out to you via email or Instagram or whatever and stay tuned for that. The first three months on a job is super important and not just because it's orientation and evaluation, but in my mind that's a time where you get a chance to make a lasting impression. With that being said, welcome to the vlog. Also I think it's really important that my community stays connected, especially with each other and me so I will be creating a Discord soon, so stay tuned. In the meantime, come join me on Instagram and Twitter. My first three months flew, especially when one third of the time I was in training, but I learned so, so much. So what I'm gonna do is just list out some things that I took away from my first three months. So basically things that I experienced, some things that I learned and observed. Getting to know your team is very, very important. Building that camaraderie, that relationship with your team is very important because those are the people who you are gonna be sitting with most of the day, spending your time with, working on solutions, projects, tackling problems with. So having a good relationship with them is very important. Just think about chemistry. The better chemistry you all have, the more efficient you have. Same applies to a basketball court, a football field, and software development. Learning as much as you can about the product is super important because if you really have no clue what the end goal is for the customer or what your product even does, how on earth are you gonna develop a solution that is efficient and effective or even useful for the customer or industry that you're in? I know it's a lot of information and you're gonna be a software developer or engineer, so you keep thinking about programming and coding, but it's also really important to learn about the product because when you know a lot about the product that opens other opportunities within the software engineering and development world, research and development world, whatever you wanna call it. So make sure you understand what you're creating and what its purpose is. Creating daily goals to stay productive is definitely something you wanna consider because when you're a new developer, you're probably gonna be working on orientation, training and onboarding and you might have a lot of free time on your hands because maybe your team just doesn't expect any contributions from you for the first quarter because you're supposed to be learning about the product, the code base, and just the company in general. I really like to use this app called To Do. I used to like using this app called Bear, which was a notes app because I really don't like iPhones, notes app, somehow, I just don't know why, but that notepad just isn't that appealing to me. I just don't really like it. So I used to use Bear, which is a notes app, but I found this new app called To Do, and it's really nice. You can pin tasks, you could double tap them to cross them out. It's a really clean user interface. Also eight hours is a long time, so you wanna make sure you fill up that day with effective and efficient, productive tasks. Explore and learn. Get as comfortable as you can with whatever coding environment you're in, whatever IDE you're gonna be using, version control that you'll be using. I myself like to assign small projects based on whatever programming language that I will be using when I start working with my team. And I also like to use a little bit of version control just to get my feet wet, feet wet with Git because Git is a lot. But this is so, so important because you get a chance to explore and that's really, really nice because 
as you progress within your development career, you're gonna have more meetings, many more meetings, and they're gonna expect you to finish programming tasks. And there are other things that you have to do. But don't worry about that right now. Just use this time to explore and learn. You can learn new programming languages. You could maybe think of a way to make your solution better or your product better. Scheduling sync meetings with management and upper management so they can get to know you better. I also enjoy meeting the senior managers and the director just so they can get to know me and they could just see my face, learn more about what I did in college or as an intern. If you feel confident about something, just do it. If there's a task that your team has and you feel confident that you can put your best foot forward and complete it, even if you're new, I would definitely do that. If this vlog has helped you understand more about what it's like to be a software engineer or techie, comment cold boss below. If you are interested at all in the Discord, if you are interested at all in this Discord, comment below, need that. I know I've said this before, but it is okay to fail. Failure is something you're just gonna deal with in life, professionally and outside of work as well. You learn the most from failure. Just think about this. Do you remember a time you had a, an exam or a class you took and you were successful in that class or you were successful, let's just take a test for example. Let's say you got an A or a B on that test. When you passed that test and did well, did you think, oh, you know what, I need to study more. Most people don't because they feel like they grasp that concept because they did well on the test. But if you failed that test, I guarantee you're like, oh my goodness, I need to learn whatever I didn't learn the last month or so. You usually don't move on. You probably go study right after that test or you spend all weekend trying to figure out what you didn't understand so you can be better prepared for the ne next exam and for the final. Don't worry about failure going to be investigating new problems, new solutions, and failure is just going to happen, so it's going to be okay. Last but not least, learn which track better fits you. This is something that you may not know within your first two months, maybe not even first three months, but it's something to keep in mind. This can save you, I won't say a lot of trouble down the road, but if you know that you want to be a front-end engineer, then make sure you let your manager and your team lead know that so they can assign tasks to you that focus on that instead of putting you in the database or the config file. As an entry level developer, you, you'll have some say, you may not have as much say as you like, especially if your job is full stack, but it's good to let your manager know that so they can keep that in mind for the future. I know that was a lot of information, but I'm so, so excited to continue to drop videos like this. Expect at least one more this week. It's so much fun sharing my experiences with you and helping you all get into the tech industry. It's so much fun giving back. I love it so much. I love my community. I love you all so, so much. Thank you for supporting me. We are over 7,800 subscribers. Can you believe that? Like two months ago, I was at like 500 or 600 subscribers. That's such a blessing. With that being said, this is the end of this video. I will see you all later on this week and have a beautiful blessed day. Remember, faith over fear. See you soon. Peace. Oh.